Hello, 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 hello. Fantastic day, and welcome to Roblox. Where we are we, we're getting people randomly trying to climb in our chair with a womp womp, and I don't. What is this person trying to achieve? I'm getting a little concerned, but okay. Welcome to doors. Floor two. Now that this harasser has left us alone when we're just trying to sit by the fire. Okay, um... <laughs> I don't even know. That, that was unplanned. Okay, but no. Welcome to doors where Contemporary left off. Me beating floor one a long time ago, and I heard that Floors 2 came out, and I really, really like the quality of Doors. So, I mean, it's something I wanted to get back to, and now that things are uh, updated, I'm going to give it a try. I don't... Ever since I last played it, and you should check out my Doors videos that I do have. I can't remember how many times I played it. You should check it out. Good moments. And uh, I'm going to forget most of probably what I need to do in each monster, so it'll be a new kind of... Or not new, but you know, it'll be a nice new refresher. My, I don't know any of the new creatures that have happened ever since I last played, whenever those videos were uploaded. But since I did beat it, I at least can change the floor. And... I'll go with, like, I'd say four randoms, or sorry, three randoms in myself. It's just so we can see people, like, scream and die, or maybe some funny thing that can happen, but it's gonna be a random party. I don't know anyone. And, uh, I don't know, let's just get into it, and, uh, have some, have some fun. I'll, I'll see if anyone joins, and if not, that I don't care, because I'm fine playing on my own just to get a little bit of an experience. But we'll see. I haven't played the mines absolutely blind playthrough and we're gonna get just to have fun in 15 seconds also you should check out my pinned comment down below and join my discord server there's gonna be times where even in my discord server i'll be in voice chat ch you know chatting with people there's always chances i would play games with some people it all just depends like right now i'm busy killing heretics in space marine 2 and uh fun times in my discord server but okay no one joined we're going to play one time then, because I don't think people can join mid-game. So we're going to try playing solo, and then I'll just join a quick game other people are in once I get a little bit more familiar. That's fine, too. Oh, wait. Uh, I was drinking my coffee. What's going on? Pretty run shop. Um, hmm. Hands-free light, 100%. I mean, I have a lot of doorknobs, but I'll put big light. Vantage pack. Health on the go. Lasts one floor. Five times... Wait. How much is... Oh, I actually can buy that. I do have one of those, but I don't want to use that. Unless I, I'm going to go a speed run. Clearly beat a floor entirely. We'll go with the bandages. And... A flashlight. You know, no, I'll, no, I'll just go play bandages. Let's do that. Also... Let's turn up the volume. A lot. Because it's fucking quiet. Alright, first person mode. Alright. Ah. Oh, well, the game is... That looks... It's like a, a mobile button to push, ain't it? Hmm. Anyways, so we haven't played this yet. And... Holy, a bunch of... Whole, a lot of items. What the hell? So, I'm going to be playing this, as you'd expect, very slowly. Okay, maybe I didn't even need to buy the band-aids. There's just, there's just things to grab everywhere. Uh, the one thing I really did like, I remember... Wait, hold. I need a fuse. Okay. It, brand new. I'm just... Uh, so, just keep in mind, for those that may be a little unfamiliar with how I do things, I'm very thorough. Oh, it's Hiding Hawker. I don't know what kind of monsters exist in the mines. I don't know which ones will repeat from... Okay, let's not do that again. I don't know which ones will repeat. Let's see. Okay, those ones are breakable. Cool, cool. There's the fuse. Okay. I'm going to just take this really slowly. That doesn't seem right. What do you mean? Psst. It's like a secret little person hiding in the rocks? Someone in the water that wants to invite me? 
I'll assume it's ambience to try to mess with me. But we gotta fuse a minecart. Okay, two fuses. Oh, like just opening the cup. I don't know what is addicting about that. I mean, a lighter. There's loot everywhere. You don't need to buy anything. That's a waste of doorknobs. The hell. It's like when I play Dead by Daylight, and I, if I ever play that game, and I play Survivor, right? I don't even bring anything with me. They just open a chest and loot it. Okay, well. Bunk and a bunk. And a crank. What does that do? I'm guessing it's just something to interact to mess with, I guess. Um, gate power. Every time you open a locker and there's something in it, it also has a sound indication. It goes bling. Oh, it, it's just continuing the doors right after I power it up. Interesting. I mean, I guess you get... It's like a, this... It's like a tutorial little area where you can loot and steal stuff before leaving. Are you... That son of a bitch. That thing. Wait. Wait, what? Am I throwing bandages on the floor? You can... You can give the bandages or use it? Alright. Uh, let's not get too distracted then. If I hear the whisper, I gotta... Make sure... Are we pushing this? Oh. It's interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, we can hide in the, the sewer drains, too. I don't want to die... Um, I want to die to a new monster, clearly. Uh, I think there's a be... Is there achievements to surviving and achievements to dying to it? I can't remember. I want them all. But... Uh, we can't jump and kill ourselves either. Next time we uh, go into another grate, I want to get killed by that red thing. Get killed by everything and beat everything. Going through every... If we had to go through 50 or 100 floors, that's going to take a while. If we, like, we had to do puzzles. Nice try. Huh. Was that a squirrel? One of these is dangerous, is it? What? What? Something in here? You can see inside, too, so if there's a monster in these... What? what? Do I not go under those things or they drop on me? Oh, they do. They go. Well. Whatever. Achievement! So you've conquered the hotel and made it this far. Congratulations and welcome. <laughs> I, I, thank you? You died to a giggle. Giggles tend to cling to ceilings. They also have sensitive eyes. Keep an eye out for any that may be hiding. You've done great. Don't give up. I don't need that kind of coddling, man. Like, goddamn. But, um, okay. Well, we died to a giggle. It, so it tells me what it's about. You hear the little giggles, and I guess you can maybe shine a light to kill them, or chase them. We're, we're not going to revive. That's uh, kind of a waste. I think I actually just learned something. Hang on. Like, if I step in the water and crouch, it shows like the little like bleeding or water icon on the bottom left. I have no idea what this is talking about. Can we get like electrocuted and water acting as a conduit on, on us or something? Like, what? Like, you can get cold or shivers? I'm kind of curious. But anyways, we're now redoing... We're back... in a very familiar room. And I've learned, of course, the lockers and locations all change nicely. So, the game never feels... too similar. I do like the fact that it makes a noise... each time you open it. So at least when you do open a drawer, locker, cabinet, chest, whatever... you don't have to keep looking for shinies or items just because the game lets you have a sound notification yeah. 
No, 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 no. I don't like them. I still don't like those things. Don't even have to bother looking. The only thing I would say is this game is so, like, graphically intensive now. It takes forever just to load a single... Uh, a single... This entire... All the floors have to get loaded, but, like, Jesus Christ, it takes, like... It takes so long, even for my beastly PC. Yoink. Okay, that's just health. A lot of lockers. I always will... Actually, I'm gonna open it left to right. That's easier. You gotta be careful. It's probably gonna be a monster type or uh, entity. Oh, wait. That's a familiar darkness noise? A lot of nothing. Oh, wait. I heard the giggles. Let me see if I can kill him with a light. Unless I need a flashlight. I don't wanna... I hear them, but they have to be somewhere else. What? Is he, like, in the pillar by some chance? Oh. oh. Okay, interesting. I wasn't expecting that thing to show up. I'm hearing him, I just can't say where. I remember that one. Just gonna... Oh, wait. Do we have to just open the door for him to go away? Oh, you... It was just a prank, bro. Survive giggle. Annoying. And he just vanishes our own. We killed him. We got revenge. Don't worry about it. Okay, vanishes. Oh, little crawl space. What is this? Hmm. Little. Little garden? They can have a little bandage. If I stay in here, will I get killed by anything? You know what? Maybe I shouldn't even camp. I already did that before, and that's how you get glitch. And I don't know if I would just get a repeat or something. I don't need that. What I do have to figure out is... Uh, money. I have to figure out if there's actual noise indications for money or not. I have to actually pay attention for that. Like, there's a bandage. That, again, I can't use. Like, it's another button. But on the mobile, I know what button they're talking about, but... It has to be a different button. Hang on, let me push a whole bunch of things to see. Let's wait. Oh, I swap outside of the bandage. That's what I need to do. Oh, I just had to make sure I'm not holding the box. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, I just learned something. I feel so smart now. But okay. Um, at this point. At this point, I'll skip ahead until things, like, actually start to happen. I find monsters or obstacles or things, you know, happen. You guys will know the routine. Good. Huh? Oh, wait. Wait. Wait, so something... Is it the thing the, from the end of the first? Oh, wait. Okay, let's hide. It's the monster that was chasing us at the end. Oh. I, that's a familiar noise. Interesting. Oh, wait. We can't stand there for too long. All right. Can I, can I just bust through this? Is that what they were saying? Oh, no. I thought it was going to be coming towards me, but... There you are. All right. He looks maybe a little damaged. 
If I make a noise, though, he's gonna start coming after me, isn't he? Well, we'll see. We have to learn through trial and error, just like it's Dark Souls. If he uh, starts coming after me, that's... Uh... No. Hmm. All right. Do you want a... F you want a glow stick? <laughs> you want a glow stick? Yeah. <clears throat> he doesn't seem to mind. All right, well, whatever. You're telling us he's still around and he's roaming now. I just need to find more money. No. But yeah, uh, back to Roman. As soon as we start the generators, you gotta freak out. No, get out of here. Hmm. No idea. Well... It really reminds me of hotels in many ways. Wait. No, that's... I remember. The light's flickering bad. He's not the type to come back, though, right? Like, you can't re-enter the locker you came out of. Is it... Oh, and he also destroyed the lines. Okay. Um, at least there's some things I remember. But I'll probably, I'll probably have to do better timing with their uh, arrival. I have no idea. Like, I'm getting a little bit lost. We found the door to leave, but my God, this one floor is ridiculously long. Oh. A fake door? No, stop Psst, me. No, but a fake door? What? I wonder what would be the evidence to prove, actually, to prove uh, which is the fake door and which is the real one. Curious. What? Bugs? What? Did it stomp this egg? Yeah! All right, I think. Uh, Okay, at least I learned quickly. Also, what is that noise? No! Yeah. Bugs! God damn it! Uh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I wanna loot the place! Fuck these bugs. They're not gonna get in my way of my looting. They make weird, loud noises, too. Weird. That didn't make noise. That did. Money! Oh! How many times? Money! What did he... Those are some really angry noises for oversized fucking flies. Hell yeah. We're pretty good with uh, items, though. I just don't know about the floor... God damn it. The floor 50 boss, I, we could probably easily die to that, especially if there's a chase sequence I'm unfamiliar with. Who knows? I don't blame my eyes. Dude, I swear I, there were like 10 millions of them. So survive a swarm of gloom bats. Oh. So they're called gloom bats. And it counted me as surviving that? Now what the fuck am I surviving? Red foggy room. Hmm. All right. That seems simple. Maybe if we stay in here for too long, it's dangerous. Yeah, it is. All right. Yeah, it's. Whoever smelt it dealt it. Survive a fire. No, a fire damp leak. We can choke to death another time. Uh, my priority is in winning. 
A ladder? Wait, what? That can't be right. Unless that's somehow the way out of this room, but... Maybe. Money. I love collecting money in this game. It's addicting. There's a lot of good things the developer knows what the hell they're doing. I, I like, like for instance, uh, something I wanna, wanted to bring up earlier, but then I think got sidetracked, is uh, the fact that at the start of the game, the very first level, like in the first floor, when you first played this game, to my memory, also, wait, am I wasting my fumes? No. Is uh, at the start of the, you, you gather in the lobby, you go into the, the hotel, you get a key and you unlock it to get out. In this game, they already tell you what you need to do of like, they show you what lockers are openable, what the, what, what, what are the toolboxes you can open, let's say. They, they show you everything you need to know at the start. Like, hey, these lockers can be opened. These ones can be hidden in. They're all at the start of the game. And they show you how to get out of the tutorial is by starting the generator. So they're already telling you like all the, or most things you need to learn throughout the game at the very first level. The people who make this game know what the hell they're doing. And I can appreciate that. Like I can think how the developers are gonna think and uh, just appreciate the effort that much more when I understand what they're trying to do. And I can always appreciate that attention to detail as I'm sure everyone else does. But it's whether or not they know exactly why they appreciate what they're feeling, but do, do I hide? In terms of new entities or new problems, I will choose to run or hide or not hide. Uh, depending on what feels the best, but I could be making a mistake. Who knows? Actually, wait, I, I kept moving. I didn't go up the ladder. I got, I got to go back. Uh, I almost, almost forgot. Ladder, okay. What's up here? Nah. Just... The fucking battery. <laughs> All that for a battery. Well, there's loot up there, but it's... I mean, it probably... It's... It'll be one of those variables where an escape route could be that way, but you'd hope not. Probably. Unless it's always a dead end with a loop. Wait. Uh. Isn't this a repeater? I heard a pssst. They spawn a little weirdly delayed, don't they? Aren't they supposed to be like instant? Like you hear a pssst and you look for them? Instead they say pssst and then they spawn visually like five or ten seconds after? Is it now it's just like they pssst as a warning, but you. Is it intentional? They give you. Well, like, I guess when they say pssst, you have an X and Y amount of time to react? Is that it? Hmm. It's also very really moody when you use the, uh, I didn't even, it didn't even make a noise, but all right. Um, I, I like the moodiness the, um, glow sticks bring, though. Because then if you're just, like, an empty room, I don't have to just use the lighter. No. And those things are really over-relied on. It's hard to fall for them unless you're being attacked by two or three monsters at the same time. Oh, wait. Ah, it's not one of these. Uh-oh. Calm down, buddy. Uh, I forgot he listens. But does he see? I, I can't remember how much.
I mean, should be fine, I imagine. Eh, yeah, let's just sneak by them. I don't know, whatever. The, the light breaking made him angry? I think, is me, like, snapping the glow sticks? I'm just gonna maybe forfeit the loot and just not care and just, you know, keep going. You know what, we're a quarter way... A quarter way through. I still have to figure out about the numbers. Is it like I think maybe the numbers might be off. There has to be something. I have to figure out what the fake door. Like, how, what are the signs? I have to pay attention more. I think maybe it's just like it's the same room you're on rather than the next one. Maybe depends. There's a lot of lockers around here. I escaped the the monster dude, but he's not coming around here. Yoink. And there's a lot of lockers to loot, so I mean, I ain't gonna complain. Like, tons of lockers. Maybe it's just because he's meant to normally be chasing you? Hell yeah. But whatever. Keep gonna keep moving on. We gotta get to 150. Like, uh, we've been playing for 45 minutes already. What the fuck? Alright, Jesus. We'll keep going. Maybe make it a multi part series. Who knows? Until we beat it. Wait, fire? Oh, flam- Oh, the trolling potential, I see it now! What if someone lights a lighter in there? Oh no, <laughs> Mmm. A big teehee, I can tell. I thought I switched to my flare, and I was going to use my flare to light the place up, and I lit the lighter! Okay! <laughs> Fucking Christ. You died to a fire damp leak. Fire damp is not safe to breathe. It's also very flammable. Try not to stay around it for too long. You've done great. Thanks for the motivational speech. I found 350 gold. My god. I died because of a, a, a user error. Uh, my god. <laughs> Anyways, okay, fine. Since I died unexpectedly, I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> but then actually play super serious in my next uh, attempt, which will probably be like right after I stop recording here. I'll do it again, but actually get to floor 50. Just speed run the shit out of it. There's a lot of things to loot, but it definitely can hold you back. Like, if you have a lot of flares, you know what direction you're going. There's no monster in your way. Uh, there's not an unfamiliar situation or unfamiliar monster. You just speed run. Like, you're missing on the doorknob money. But, like, that is just only... The money is mostly for aesthetically pleasing to me. Unless you need the money to buy things in the game in one of the floors. Like, there's some kind of shop halfway in for you to spend the gold on. But otherwise, it's just like the gold is kind of useless ultimately. And it, it's distracting because everyone wants to pick up the gold. Or at least I'm speaking from my personal views. Like, I see the shiny, shiny money. And my OCD, ADHD brain is just like, <gasps> shiny money. I have to collect it. It's like when you play Wolfenstein 3D, right? Any game that has money in it. Thief. D Dishonored. Anything. If there's money where you hit E and you pick up money and you hear a ka-ching sound, everyone loves that shit. I can't be the only one. It's addicting. I love that shit. But we're going to leave it there. I want to beat this level just like I did the other one. I don't play Roblox much, but when it comes to obviously like good shit, 
good horror games. If you guys let me know which are like the best of the best of horror or indie horror, no, let me know. I'll definitely play it or give it a try and see if it's up my alley. I'm not going to play The Isle or sandbox games or games that are time sinks, but games like this perfectly up my alley but otherwise if you want to see more and of course if you enjoyed please leave a like comment hit that subscribe button become a full subscriber hit the notification down below for updates on my videos thank you for watching and until the next time Rawr.